I'm going to be reviewing the Ice Co APL 55 and this is quite possibly the sexiest cooler that I've ever put my hands on. Something that you don't see a lot is people giving their perception of a product right off the rip in the video. That's to try to keep you in the video longer. I'm hoping that I'm able to provide you with content that you're gonna like and you're gonna find items about this cooler that maybe others haven't mentioned and you'll find that throughout the video. But my overall perception is this is an awesome, awesome cooler. This is a refrigerated, a portable, cooler that has a refrigerator and a cooler on uh, one side or gonna be turned into a complete freezer. And I'll show you how to do that, like I said, throughout the video. And I can guarantee you that this is gonna be the most unique review that you're gonna find on the Iceco APL 55 uh, or basically on any of these refrigerators. I got a lot of different diagnostic tools that I use and I'm gonna put them to use in this video. The first thing that I wanna talk about is the energy efficiency of the compressor. And over the last three days, I've had it plugged into this watt meter and I have recorded that we've used 1.252 kilowatt hours, which is 1,252 watt hours. And if you break that down over an hourly period, it's only consuming around 18 watts per hour. And this hasn't been on for a full three days. It's been on for the two days, 48 hours, plus an additional 21 hours. So what I did is took the 48 plus 21, gives you 69, and I divided that um, to give me the number of 18 watts per hour. And this has been setting on the highest or lowest, however you wanna say it, whatever would consume the most uh, power settings that I can put it on. And that is just absolutely crazy low numbers when you're talking 18 watts per hour. If we take a look at the energy guide sticker that comes with this, you can see that it says on average that you would use around $14.30 per year or an average of 119 kilowatt hours. And here's everything that's included in the box. These are all just extras. This is just in case you damage it, like a seal, you might break it, you know, trying to get the water out of the cooler. Then they give you one of these. Uh, they give you two extra handles, two extra bumper plates with the screws, two extra pads for the bottom, and the user manual, a troubleshooting guide, the car charger that can run the cooler with it, and the energy guide. And if you stick around for just a little bit longer, I'm gonna show you unique accessories that comes with this cooler or this package that I haven't seen on any other cooler. The cooler weighs in at just under 60 pounds, 59.0 pounds. And by no means is that super light for a cooler, but this is a portable freezer refrigerator that's called a cooler in my opinion. So when you compare it to a refrigerator or a freezer, it is very light. And I've taken several sound level tests with this and the highest levels that I'm coming up with is around 35 to 36 decibels. And how I'm getting that is I'll open this up, let it come back to room temperature, close it up and turn it on high to have the compressor turn on and cool everything back down. Typically that's where you're gonna get your highest levels of sound out of an appliance. And this one's coming in at 35 to 36 decibels. That's extremely quiet for a refrigerator or a freezer. When it comes to refrigerators and freezers, it's very important that the seal around the door is not releasing a lot of cold air out of it. So I did something really unique. I set this outside in the hot sun for a while, and then I come back and took a thermal scan to see if we can catch any leaks around the seal. And this thing has got a bulletproof seal on it. It's awesome. It didn't leak any cold air out of that seal which is probably why this thing is so energy efficient. Cooler just screams quality. I mean, everything here just feels robust and uh, I just love the way that it looks and the way that it operates. So it has lights on the inside, uh, one on this side and then one on this side. And this is a divider. When you take this out, you just pull this up and now the entire thing is a freezer. And the only thing that I can come up with is because it might have a sensor down here. So you can see right now that it's a freezer. It's only got one number there. So if we go over here and we slide this back down into its spot like that, you'll see that those now recognizes as two numbers, 42 degrees on the refrigerator side, which is here, and eight degrees over here on the freezer side. So that is really cool that you don't have to do anything. It automatically knows when you take this out or put it in to divide this into two, a refrigerator and freezer, or one solid freezer. 
if you leave the door open for too long, it has an alarm that goes off. And when you do go to close it, it's got a soft close to it. Come on. Uh, the handle is spring loaded and it does feel like uh, almost like an aluminum material or like a cast aluminum. Uh, the latches are the same thing and they even give you extra latches. So this is not a company trying to cheap out on things. They, they're offering a high quality finish from an aluminum body. Uh, this like black stainless steel, absolutely beautiful. Come down, we have bumpers on all four sides of the cooler. We have additional charging on each side of the cooler. We have two USBs here. You can actually power the unit from DC on either side, from here or from here for DC. AC, you only have one port. So if you're gonna charge with AC power, this is how you're gonna to have to do it to power the unit. And there's the extra USB ports on this side. If lights are your thing, then it has this light, then it has a brighter light that changes color And if you're not in the United States, you might not want to use Fahrenheit. Maybe you want to use Celsius. You can do that by the gear over here. You press that. This is setting the temperature of your refrigerator. You can change that, what you want the target to be. Then you just hit uh, the gear again. Then you go to your freezer. Again, this is what the target setting will be. Right now it's working to get down to that. The next one is going to be your light uh, intensity. So we can turn that down on the screen. Our next one, we'll come back to in just a second. Next is where you'll change it to uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then we'll go over to the sound. You can make that where it's mute, so it doesn't make that beeping sound every time you press a button. And then we'll talk about Bluetooth here in just a minute because I do want to show you the app. And now we want to go back to this right here. And that's our power setting protection on the battery. So if you have a battery, you could change this protection uh, different levels. So you basically have three levels. I waited too long. Let me get back to that. So we can take it down to level one, level two, and level three. And what that is, is right here. These are your uh, protection levels. To download the app, there is two QR codes on the side of the cooler. This one will take you to the Google Play Store. This one will take you to the Apple App Store. You can download the app and get connected through Bluetooth to control your cooler. I'll show you how to do that in real time. So we're gonna go to the Google Play Store, download the app, we're gonna hit install. This happens pretty quick, it's a small file. We're gonna open, uh, we're gonna allow, we're gonna go there, allow. And then we're going to exit and then we're going to open back. And when it opens up, you're going to hit add device. Right there is the refrigerator connecting the Bluetooth and we're connected very fast. I realize that that's a lot to take in on just a cooler. Now I try to be as detailed as possible in my reviews, so I'm not finished yet. So what type of review would this be? if I didn't show you that it actually does work inside of a vehicle. I placed this in the back seat of my F-150 and I got plenty of space back there. I can actually take that seat and open it up and have the third person riding in the back seat. Now, if you have an SUV or a minivan or an RV or a truck that has a cigarette lighter in the bed of your truck or somewhere in the back of your vehicle, then you can just plug it right into that and that would work just fine. There is a solution to if you don't have a plug like that and you want to use this for camping or you're taking it out for a party, going to a pool, going to a beach or something like that, then I have an accessory that I talked about at the beginning of the video. So we're gonna head back inside and we're gonna cover that. And this is the accessory that makes this cooler great because now rather than having to have it hardwired to a source, you can hardwire it to a battery. This is a 240 watt hour battery that I have ran this refrigerator on eco mode for 24 hours with. So I started it at room temperature 
and hooked this up at 100%, then ran it all the way down to basically 2% or somewhere right around there because it starts flashing when it gets below 5% to let you know it's about to die. And it lasted for 24 hours. That watt hour uh, usage is insane. That's right around 11 and a half to 12 watts per hour. That is very low consumption. So how this works is you just put the magnetic battery right on the side. Then you grab the included car charger that comes with your um, refrigerator. And then you just connect it into the DC port. And now you have power. And this, like I said, can run this refrigerator for 24 hours on a single charge. And one of the coolest things about the battery is that it could be used on other accessories. So let's say if you've got this plugged into your RV or into a, an outlet in your house or in your shop, then you can use this battery to power laptops, other 12 volt appliances uh, like the cigarette lighter. I hooked this to an air compressor and it worked awesome with that. So this is a great little accessory outside of just having it for the cooler that you can use for other electronics. And now it's probably a little bit clearer why I started off the video stating this was such a great cooler. It has a lot to offer. It's got very good quality build and the battery, I mean this thing, I love it because it has that magnetic, it sticks right to the side of it and you can use it for other accessories. So I would highly recommend uh, looking at the combo unit for the battery and the cooler. So if you have any questions on this, leave me a comment below. Let me know, I'll try to answer you right away. And if you found this video helpful in any way, smash the thumbs up button, really does help me out a lot. Hope to catch you in my next one.